Hey everyone, we just got the new Book of Boba Fett wave from the Black Series and from CMD store. This is like the fourth or fifth wave that has come out since September, it feels. We had a big gap at the beginning of the year of like five months with no new releases. And hopefully we won't be dealing that going into 2024. But I know you guys are here to see if this new Mandalorian Black Series figure is worth getting, since we've already had like eight Mandos in the line before. Here is a quick look at the Book of Boba Fett mural, a little bit of Black Crescent in there on the left. But we're going to cover these other figures in another video, so hit that subscribe button if you would like to see those when they drop. Let's get Mando open and see if he is all he is cracked up to be here. We have the Darksaber, the Vibroblade, and his pistol, as well as his jetpack looking nice and shiny. Shiny. We're going to take a look at all of these in just a second. I have to say straight out of the package, he looks absolutely amazing. Probably the most proportionate Mando that we've got so far. All, even the Mafex and the figure arts and the imports, which we're going to compare to in a little bit, all have some issues in terms of proportions and helmet size and neck length and all of those little things. The jetpack fits on nicely. It's a nice snug fit. No problems there. And of course, one of the main new features of this figure is the cloth cape, which allows us to finally use the jetpack and the cape at the same time. It under the armor here. Mine got a little messed up, I'll show you why, but luckily this brand new Darksaber with the nice clean white edge that it comes with <laughs> works as a nice tool to kind of like tailor the cape a little bit, get it tucked back in under the armor, because the cape is a stretchy material. It kind of reminds me of those book covers you used to get in school, but I accidentally pulled it out from under the armor, so we might have to tuck that back in. Let's compare this to the original Beskar Mando release. You can see how much of an improvement this new one is. The Beskar one was actually a great figure at the time, now probably about three years old, if not more, just from the very birth of the new Galaxy packaging in the Black Series. And you can see how nice and smooth and shiny the armor is on the new figure. And again, just like better colors on the armor and the leather and all of this. The older one actually has better articulation at the knee because it has those double joints, but I don't think you need to really go past 90 with the new one. And the arms are about the same at just past 90 degrees. Looks like the new one gets a little bit more than the old one. And it's really satisfying posing the cape around the jetpack here. And this new jetpack is just so much cleaner and shinier than the one we've seen before. And the sculpt is much crisper. You can see how nice and clean the tops of those little cylinders there are on the new one and just overall a much shinier more premium looking paint so far this might be my favorite mando that we've ever got in six inch form let's compare him to some of the more premium lines like sh figure arts and mafex the version 2 mafex comes out next month so i don't have that yet but this is the newest figure arts from season three really don't like this new figure arts i have a review on that on my channel if you want to check that out he does come with the vibroblade i'm not sure if we've actually gotten this before with a mando figure but it does fit nicely into his right boot here, similar to how the Cara Dune figure works. And I don't believe there's anything new about his pistol. It looks like the same sculpt as before, with a nice, like, more graphite paint job. And they've done away with the little strap on the holster. I really don't like those straps on holsters with the little peg that's supposed to fit in that just never really does, and it just ends up floating there. They've removed that, and this just sits nicely in there. It's a little bit of a design choice, but I think it was the right decision. And then the shoulder pads are on their own little O-ring, similar to the new clone trooper. And then over on the legs, we still have that thigh swivel, which is hidden nicely by the armor so we've got that in full swing here i think this figure was designed a little bit of a while ago and i think that might be why that's there but also on a figure like this where the actual sculpt is going to hide the thigh cut i think they should maintain that the dark saber is a little bit loose in the hand i'm never really a big fan of that but i guess these hands are designed to fit the pistol the rifle the vibro blade the dark saber the beskar spear but this guy is such a joy to pose around it looks so much better than the previous release and definitely rivals a lot of the more expensive imports. I think this is going to be the Mando that ends up on my shelf. For some height comparisons here, we have the Bo-Katan with a Fett clone head, Ahsoka repainted by Frederick's figures, along with this Fennec Shand, also repainted by Frederick, and then another Fett clone head on Boba with the Figure Arts body, and the Figure Arts Grogu from the latest Season 3 Mando. Pretty much my favorite version of each of these characters. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Please leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you were new to the channel and would like to see the reviews of the other figures in this wave that are coming up next. Let me know in the comments below if this is going to be your new Mando or if you're going to just hang on to the one that you already have. As always, thank you all for watching. Here are some other videos from my channel that you might enjoy, and I'll see you next time.